views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The following audio is via a Skype call. Starting now, becoming a Sun Radio Emotional and Spiritual Intelligence for a Happy, Fulfilling Life with visionary leader David Carshare. This hit show is a guide to the human journey, individually and collectively. David believes that humanity is evolving to become a conscious expression of the creative power within us. And each show reveals how to activate this creative expression to the fullest. Stay tuned because this is all happening right now. Wow, everybody, welcome back. It's so great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. Um, Wow, what show we've got planned for you. David Karsher is in the house, right? And I'm thinking to myself, for those of you that just listened to the last show, I'm thinking how brilliant these conversations are that we're having today. Becoming a Sun Radio with David Karsher joining me here today. Wow. Emotional and spiritual intelligence for a happy, fulfilling life. Wow. Today, David and I are going to talk about the atmosphere of understanding and the bursts of action. Now, for those of you, if you want to find out more about David, I'm going to tell you, you can go to his website, davidkarshare.com. But most importantly, during the show today, you will see and hear us posting from the various aspects of the conversation today and what is the experience that all of you all are going to have later on in the show. David has been in the field of, I don't even know how to describe it, but let's just say he has been working 24-7, around the clock, people all over the world, spiritual director at Sunrise Ranch, teaching and demonstrating all of the above. Why? So that we can understand how to cultivate emotional and spiritual intelligence for a happy, fulfilling life. And when we think about this, you're going to hear today as well how you can find out more about him, but how you too can take that energy inside of you that is waiting to just jump out into the world and create bursts of action. David, 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 it's so great to have you here. Thank you, Dr. Pat. It is just a delight to be on your radio show and to just share this information and the energy of it with with people who are listening. Well, you know, listen, let's start with a conversation, sort of a recap, if we could go, you know, go back for a minute and talk about the idea of becoming a son and what it means as we become a son, S-U-N, create the atmosphere of understanding. Let's talk about this and why understanding is essential. Well, uh, yes, Pat. So, you know, with each of them, there is cosmic energy. It's in our atoms and it's in our cells and our organs and it, and it comes to minds and hearts. And the whole idea of becoming a son is becoming on the outside what we already are on the inside. So all of that great energy is present in us. It's what created us. And it's looking to come through us intelligently as the human being that we are, as a living human manifestation of all this cosmic energy on the inside. And I do believe uh, with all my heart that it's our destiny as a human being to become a son and to give expression to the love and the truth, the wisdom, the intelligence that's within us, and, and to share it in our lives, to, to allow it to radiate through us uh, as the sun shines. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's the whole idea of mm-hmm. the book and uh, of the topic. 
Yeah, I want to ask you. I want let's talk about you and I, right, for a minute, if we could, because I really, I, you know, I talked a little bit about this earlier today, but there is something that happens to us. Something, something gets. What, what's the word, David? I'm looking for. It, it, something gets ignited in us, yes. and there is this magical formula that's not so magical about understanding that could, in fact. Uh, cultivate, you know, that brilliant nature of the sun, even though it's cloudy. So what gets in the way of this atmosphere of understanding? Because it is essential and magic does happen, right? When we get it. (laughs) Yes. So we have so much misinformation about what our lives are about and who we are as human beings. And so those things really do get in the way. There are so many negative messages that we receive, whether we want to look at the mass media, whether we want to look at uh, political leaders, or even in the culture and in our upbringing. Uh, How many of us are told that, that we're wonderfully creative human beings who are full of love, which we want to give to the world? Yeah. And so we need some spiritual and emotional intelligence to understand all that at a depth, really. Yeah. You know what I love about this is this idea of I know uh, and I can point to time in my lives. If we can just, you know, talk about this for a second. I can point to time in my lives, David, when I know I was really not in that emotional and spiritual intelligence place and how do i know it because even though i was experiencing feelings and emotions i did not have what it took to restrain myself in a in a way of integrity now i've learned a few things along the way of come me right Mm -hmm. but this aspect of it there is like a way that you're teaching people to get a sense of that to really get a sense of, wait a minute, I need to hit the pause button here for a minute. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you, you, these things are so uh, primal to our nature. In other words, they are built in and they're altogether normal and natural to us. But we've accepted uh, a way of being in our culture that isn't natural to us. And so the things that are so basic to our our function as human beings, like loving somebody else, like uh, bringing understanding to another person, have become abnormal. And so, uh, yes, I do think we need to hit the pause button and begin with what we were speaking about last time I was on on the show, which Mm -hmm. was the warmth of blessing. And the warmth of blessing is simply a receiving of love to the heart and then a giving of love to the heart of another person. Yeah. And, and if that's not going on for us, uh, I, I really don't believe anything else is that's creative because, mm. you know, people do crazy things when they don't feel loved and when they're, <sighs> they're out of touch with the love within themselves. And then they lack the awareness that they have it to give to another person. So what is the good premise for a human life If you don't have that experience. And what I say is there is none. If you're, Mm -hmm. if our lives aren't filled with exchanging a depth of love with, with people in our lives, what is it, what is it about? And, and then what Mm -hmm. is there to understand? So the, the basis of understanding has got to be this, this primal exchange of love energy in a way that's appropriate to every single relationship we have, from the mm-hmm. most intimate to the all the casual relationships we have to business relationships. In them all, at the core of them all, there's a form of love that's appropriate to that, that relationship and, and that deserves to be amplified in the relationship. Mm. You know... We know and we feel the magnitude of what's calling us forward in this world, David. I mean, you said it just so brilliantly. We know it. And yet the question really is um, that we may believe 
uh, that we have an understanding. I don't know about you, but one of one of the phrases that I hear a lot from people is, yeah, I know, I got it, I know, I got it, I know, I got it. And then off we go doing the same thing over and over and yeah. over again like we did before. Yeah. How do we know for sure that we got it, David? Yes, a really great <laughs> question. You know, I was just sitting with a group, group of people uh, before I got onto the show here mm -hmm. today. And these are brilliant, br brilliant people, many of them young, uh, very intelligent. And they're talking about social architecture and the creation of so social architecture. So talk about understanding. You know, they have a highly developed uh, intellectual understanding of social architecture. But then somebody spoke up and said, well, how's our social architecture right here among us, like how are we being together? So if you get down right to the root of understanding, I think we have to get right down to the nub of it if it's to have meaning in our lives because otherwise it's just an idea. And what mm -hmm. I say understanding is about is, is something very simple. It's me uh, being with you, being able to witness you and do so without judgment. And that brings understanding. I can begin to understand who you are and what your experience is as a human being. If I can be in, in the place of a witness without judgment, and I may have thoughts uh, that could go to judgment, but I'm going to sideline them in favor of truly seeing who you are and truly what's happening for you as, as a human being. And if that is present, if I'm with it, if I'm able to put a pause button on the incessant judgment that most of us tend to live in, then it's very natural for something else to kick in, which is compassion. Mm. And I can have a compassionate understanding for, uh, for the people in my life. And then even maybe a compassionate understanding for myself I can look at what's happening, my own human experience, put a, uh, press the pause button on the judgment and just appreciate what I'm going through as a human being with compassion. And, and to me, that's the beginning of real yeah. understanding, because if that's not going on, what I say is we're not really understanding anything. We're yeah. labeling it, we're judging it, but we're not understanding it. Yeah, yeah. We have got something super exciting to talk about when we come back. David's going to talk about the four aspects of humanity. And what is it that happens when these four aspects, in any order you could think of, one or two not being integrated in our lives? What does that mean for our personal and global humanity? Stay tuned. We're going to take a short break. Yep. Not only are we going to get to that, but how about the six dynamics and 12 experiences? I'm telling you, this is a, this is a topic I love talking about. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases, it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio and and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger. 
and the healing epic. Are you ready to start winning at the game of life? Lynn Brown, host of Get Into It, Winning at the Game of Life, is here to help you reach places and goals that you never thought possible. Lynn is an intuitive healer with a specialized background in financial healing. She combines her intuitive nature and her wholesome approach to financial planning. To learn more about her financial planning services, contact her personally at letter R, letter U, Intuit.com. Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving, even in the face of adversity. Say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the Lucid Planet. Visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, AM 1150, and Transformation Time. Talk Radio. Hey, everybody, welcome back. I am so thrilled to have David Karsher joining me here today. And, you know, this is a series that uh, he and I are doing together for those of you out there, Becoming a Sun Radio with David, Emotional and Spiritual Intelligence for a Happy, Fulfilling Life. Today's show, The Atmosphere of Understanding and the Bursts of Action. Not only is this a conversation, but we're going to, all of us, have the opportunity to experience something very special later on the show with David. You know, before we get back, uh, David, and talk about the four aspects of humanity, how can people find out more about you? How can they find out more about the book and and any number of other things you're doing? Yes, great, Pat. So the easiest way to find out about me is to go to my website, and that's davidcarshare.com. And there we have a free ebook for your your listeners and it's on the seven spiritual strategies for fulfilling relationships so they just go to davidcarshare.com slash blessing and they'll find it so awesome. uh yeah that's available and then if they would like to a- attend a workshop with me the next one that i'm doing is in may from may 16th or i'm sorry uh yes 16th to 20 and it's blessing and understanding, primal spirituality number one. And it's really based on the first two chapters of my book. So it's four days at Sunrise Ranch in Loveland, Colorado. Awesome. You know, you and I were talking during the break, and, you know, I, I'm literally going to ask you to kind of repeat this. The yeah. statement I made to you, David, was, look, you know, I looked at the four aspects that you bring forth and you help people work with. And I know that for a large part of my life, I've done two of these fairly well. The third one struggled with and the fourth was non-existent. And what I discovered today in the world is that that non-existent one has to be a major aspect of my life. Tell us what the four aspects of humanity are. Um, And also, we're going to talk about how, what role they play. Yeah, I'd be glad to have that. And the the funny thing about it is I I feel almost uh, silly because (laughs) it's such a study in obviology and it's something that is so close to us that sometimes we don't see it. And the four parts are very simple. Uh, well, we'll start with our physical bodies. 
It's like, mm -hmm. so we have a body, we, we, we know that. So there's the physicality, but then there's our thoughts, our, our mental nature, our mental capacity, and our feelings, our emotional body. And then we have a spiritual body too. So we have this ability to connect with something that's beyond our immediate human experience. And it's got the ability to connect us with what empowers us and what what can guide us in our life and allow us to feel connected to something so much larger than what we are as, as a human being per se. So we, we feel connected to each other and we feel connected to all of nature and we feel connected to God and the infinite possibility that's in our lives through our spiritual nature. Mm. You know, this is important to really have a sense of what this means, but more importantly is to have a sense of what you're about to share with us in terms of, you know, how these aspects work with each other. You know, I think many of us thought for a long time, we can get away with one or two of them. And so what about the others? But you have something else to share with us about that. Well, I do, Pat, because uh, I understand that for each of us, we have our strengths, right? So there are things that come more naturally and easy to us. Uh, some of us uh, tend to live in our heads a lot. Some mm -hmm. of us are you know, all gung ho on the physical and the exercise and diet and so on. And, mm -hmm. and some of us, uh, are really heart people and we tend to live in our hearts and, and some of us are all about the, the spiritual. But w what, what I say is that a self-aware person does exactly what you've done, which is they, they check out their own experience and they become aware where they may be a quart low. So they may be a quart low in any of those four areas. And it doesn't mean that we all need to be intellectual giants, for instance, or, or tremendous athletes. But nonetheless, we all have these four capacities and they're meant to work together. And mm. what we may find is that in one or more of these areas, we're just not paying attention. We just don't mm -hmm. go there for whatever reason out of habit, out of fear, and that a little activation in each of these areas mm. can do a lot for our overall health and vitality and happiness. Mm. You know, can I ask you a question, uh, David? I mean, you're working with people all over the world and you have a sense of how important these are for folks. Um, what is it that you are seeing with folks right now? Is one easier to connect with than the other? And, you know, there, I, I know you talk about virtues associated with these capacities. How does this all interplay and, and interact? You know, I do see that it's different for different people, mm -hmm. maybe somewhat culturally de determined or determined by family and upbringing and so on. But nonetheless, I think we're all made a little bit different. And if we find a strength, we tend to go to that strength. Like if we found as, as a child that being, being bright, being smart meant we got a pat on the head or, or an attaboy or something, well, then we just kept going to that and decided in some part of ourselves that we would just go through life as a smart person, and that would work. And then life has a way of giving us messages and telling us maybe, well, you, you know, you're coming off pretty cold in this relationship. So maybe you're a court low over, over on the feeling side. And then we need to activate that, that part of ourselves where we are a court low and find that uh, you know, every situation calls for a different mix of the energies that flow through our capacities. And if we're finding trouble in our life, that trouble, while we may attribute uh, the trouble to somebody else or to a circumstance, it may relate to an area inside ourselves where we're blocked, where we're a quart low. Um, for instance, somebody who's not really touching the spiritual inside themselves. And I don't mean the religious per se, but I, I truly mean the spiritual. 
Mm. They may find that they're not seeing much possibility in their life. So they're getting discouraged. They're getting frustrated. They're getting depressed because possibility, uh, what has yet to manifest in our lives but could, lives in the spiritual. It's touched through the spiritual. You begin to touch the spiritual and you, and you begin to get happy because you, you begin to see, oh, there are all kinds of things that could manifest in my life that haven't yet. Uh, mm. so, and so it goes for all, all, our hum, all the elements of our human experience. Yeah. You know, what's really important is, and maybe you can talk to this for a minute, is that when one or two of these are operating, it's not like we don't get things done. And that really leads to the conversation on, you know, bursts of action. It's not that we don't get the one or two things in the world done, but there's something about the dynamic nature of being able to activate all of them, right? And I'm just curious, um, you know, am I right in that thinking, meaning that I know today intuitively it feels like I have to have all four working in my life. What is the sense and what happens to folks when we don't get all four working? Well, very simply, when it comes to action, if we don't have... Uh, it all going on in all four quarters of our experience, we're we're likely going to do one of two things. We're going to not act. So we're just going to be inert. There's going to be a situation that calls for for us to do something, but then we don't. Or Mm -hmm. we, instead of acting, we react. So we're not really doing what's creative in our action, we're reacting to something that somebody else did. And neither of those things really brings us to a very happy place. So when we get self-aware, when, when we see what's going on for ourselves, we may notice that we haven't really been that thoughtful, perhaps, about what's going on. Or mm. we haven't really brought our heart into the situation. We're not really feeling loved and we're not feeling loving. You know, so if you're not feeling loved and you're not feeling loved, when you go to act, well, you either won't act Mm. or you'll act in a reactive way. But then you have to consider, so how does the thinking and feeling get charged up? Where is the energy for that going to come? And it does Mm. come from our spiritual nature because that's our access to infinite energy within ourselves. And it's that infinite energy that's inspiring love in the heart, and it's inspiring creativity and intelligence in the mind. So when Mm -hmm. all that is going, then the actions that we take end up being creative. They're filled with intelligence that's behind them, and they're filled with the love that's natural to us as a human being. And I want to be clear, I'm not just talking about romantic kinds of love or or affectionate kinds of love. I'm just talking about the love that's natural to us as a human being, as we live our lives, expressed appropriately in every situation. Oh, and so important in understanding this. When we come back, we're going to talk about the bursts of action. You know, many of you who were listening earlier today, you heard me say what happened and what action I did take. But what does this mean when we're looking at bursts of action in reference to becoming a son? And how does this help us understand the action we're taking, getting us to the place we ultimately want to go? We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with David Karshare. You're giving me a million reasons to let you go. You're giving me a million reasons to quit the show. You're giving me a million... The 25th Annual Women of Wisdom Conference. Remember who you are, honoring ourselves, we heal the world. 
is this February 16th through the 20th. WOW is calling for women to gather. This is the time for women to step into our power, support each other, share our stories, empower our dreams, and build leaders for our community and the next generation of women. Join us for life-changing, intimate workshops on diverse topics such as music, dance, art, sexuality, relationships, healing, goddess wisdom, life purpose, and more. Join us and be witnessed, valued, and inspired to discover your purpose and share your stories. WOW is one of the longest-running women's spirituality conferences in the world. You can register for individual events or enjoy the whole weekend. This February 16th through the 20th, visit womenofwisdom.org. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the com. Brand consultant Jen Morgan is here with Radically Distinct Radio to help you take control of your future and maximize your brand's power to produce results. Whether you're an individual trying to reinvent yourself and launch a new venture, or you're an executive trying to reposition your company to modernize your sales and marketing programs, Jen Morgan and the RAD Method empower you to play to your strengths and show up in the world as your most powerful brand. To learn more, go to jenmorgan.com, that's Jen with two N's, morgan.com, or call 206 9 the earth is an ever-changing being goddess light shamanic healer brie gibbs guides us through the ascending worlds bringing forth knowledge and truth as a light creator she is here to provide new information needed at this time in our evolution join brie as she shares messages from guides spirits ascended masters goddesses and others Tune in the second and fourth Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific, and Thursdays, 1 p.m. Pacific, for Silver Gaia Radio. Do you keep attracting the same type of guy over and over? Do you believe all of the good guys are taken and you might be single forever? Hi, my name is Deb Acker, and in addition to being the host of Truth Talk Radio, I'm an intuitive life coach and energy healer. I clear energy blocks to all areas of life, including love. Did you know that many times the thing that keeps us attracting the same type of person is energy-related? What if you could complete this pattern for good to attract conscious, loving men? Don't think it's possible? Several years ago, this is where I was, and I went on a journey to figure out how to undo this for myself, and I now help others with this. I love helping clients clear this pattern for good to have the love they so desire and deserve. If this resonates for you and you're ready to be truly done attracting the same type of person, I'd love to gift you with my pattern identification session. Simply contact me on the contact page of my website, deborahacker.com. That's D-E-B-O-R-A-H-A-C-K-E-R.com. And let me know you heard about this gift through Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to connecting soon. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's so great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. I'm Dr. Pat. I'm here with David Karsher, and this is Becoming a Sun Radio with David. We're talking about the atmosphere of understanding and bursts of action. That's what we're going to talk about now, this idea of bursts of action. You know, for so long, David, and maybe you can address this, for so long, you know, there was an idea in the spiritual community and in spirituality that action was not part of the end game. And I think we've moved past that, so to speak. But the idea of bursts of action are intriguing. Tell us a little bit about what you mean by that. Well, there's two virtues of taking action. One is very practical. Uh, There are things that need to be done in our life. So Mm -hmm. that's obvious enough. But action in our lives activates energy. It it activates life energy in our lives. So it's very important that when there's something to act, 
or act on that we do it that we're not reactive but that we're bringing uh the love energy inside us which is the energy of the sun that we are through that action and into the world so the action becomes a means for us to shine as a sun mm-hmm. and and that's something that our world relies on us for we don't usually think of action as the uh, an action in the world as being something that is about the sh- the radiant shining of love energy or spiritual energy into the world but it can be that mm. Let's talk about what these bursts can come to mean. And and what I'm saying is that, you know, we go through our day and you're right. There there are things that we do because we absolutely need to do them. Like the laundry pile piles up and we need to get it done. Um, And there are a lot of people that know what to do. But even though we don't know what to do, we don't take action. And so what is what is the thing that is missing? You know, what is it that doesn't engage us enough to take action. Yeah. So, so, you know, early in the earlier segment, I was speaking Mm -hmm. about how we tend to be a quart low in other areas. So I want to talk about the significance of the emotional body when it comes to taking action. And I want to invite our listeners to think about somebody that they love deeply. And to think about that love and just think how much that person means to you. And if you allow the feeling of that love that you have for that person to really come into your heart and then think about that person in need where they really need something from you for their well-being and then ask, Are you now more motivated than you were before Mm. to take that action? Does that action mean something different to you? Mm -hmm. And now, I mean, we might imagine a, a, a potentially dangerous situation where they really need you. But then can we bring it into the everyday? So as we're doing that laundry, Mm. it's going to be pretty humdrum if it's just doing the laundry. But if you're doing that laundry, out of love for another person, giving them something they truly need. And if you're thinking about your care and love for them as you're doing the laundry or cooking a meal for them or or taking them someplace, then you're living a different kind of life. And life begins to make sense in a different way. Mm -hmm. Just because you noticed you were court low and you did something to activate the love in the heart that you have for another person and, Mm. and then saw that in relationship to what you're doing. So there's some way that we don't put all these together all the time as human beings and, and something that we're doing becomes just that it's, Oh, it's just the laundry. No, it's not just the laundry. It's your expression of love for another person. Mm. You know, and this is really part of the conversation, too. It's this idea of reciprocity. It's this idea of exchange, um, you know, and what that means. Uh, There there are things that go beyond that individual exchange, that go beyond what we can do to clearly change the world as well. And we talk about this a lot. We talk about, you know, certain times of action. But, you know... For some points in time in my life, life, I've I've had to activate that warrior archetype. You know what I mean? That's a little bit of where I am today in a sense of what we're doing with the network. Would you talk a little bit about how these archetypes and what happens with us, how they get put into play? Yes, uh, certainly. Yeah. So in, tra- in more traditional cultures – the warrior was always in service to the king or to mm. the queen to the queen and so if you look at it archetypally in us as human beings the warrior in us is in service to the sovereign being that we are and to the largeness of sovereignty that we know in our life that is that is in the spiritual so 
that's being a warrior for possibility. It's being a spiritual warrior. And so uh, I'm sure, Pat, that your mm-hmm. radio show is so much about that. You're, you're, <laughs> it's, it's about the possibility you see for the world. And then you're knowing that your action in running and operating the, the, the station is making a difference mm. and is fulfilling the possibility that you're seeing. And I know that f- is certainly true for me. Yeah. Uh, I live here at Sunrise Ranch and I have the vision. I caught the vision that Sunrise Ranch could make a, a huge difference in people's lives. It could make a huge difference in the world for us to be a teaching and demonstration site. And then I become a warrior for that. Like I am all about the da- daily things that come to me to do, to realize that possibility, knowing that potentiality or possibility doesn't manifest itself all by itself. It, it may somebody el- somewhere else for somebody yeah. else, but it doesn't manifest in our life unless we're a spiritual warrior for that possibility. Yeah. You know, this is part of, you know, the conversation about how do we do it? What do we do? But more importantly, what tools can we learn, David? You know, and that's what we're going to do in the next segment. You're actually going to take us on a journey to activate that which we have just talked about today. Let's take a short break and we come back. You know, please, if you're driving, you're going to want to pull over. If you're sitting home and you're working, you might want to stop because David Karsher has got something extraordinary uh, to lead us uh, through. We'll be right back. Are you looking for the perfect setting for your next workshop or retreat? At Spirit Fire Meditative Retreat Center, cultivating consciousness is what we do best. Our guests count on us to create an atmosphere that supports serenity and well-being. We lead from the heart and create space for the mind. Freshly prepared meals designed with local and organic ingredients, 95 acres of beautiful woods and pastures, and a facility built with green in mind. This is what you'll find at Spirit Fire. For more information, visit spiritfireretreatcenter.com. Are you ready to start winning at the game of life? Lynn Brown, host of Get Into It, Winning at the Game of Life, is here to help you reach places and goals that you never thought possible. Lynn is an intuitive healer with a specialized background in financial healing. She combines her intuitive nature and her wholesome approach to financial planning. To learn more about her financial planning services, contact her personally at letter R, letter U, intuit.com. Do you ever feel as if you're working twice as hard but only getting half as far? Are you trying to connect with your path in life and finding it elusive? Mainstream Metaphysics Radio is a weekly call-in show where we harness our connection with the universe and use what is in our power to affect change for optimal success and happiness. This hit show bridges the divide between what is and what we do not know. Eve, named one of the country's top psychics, also known as the MBA Psychic, invites you on this journey for this live call-in show with readings, featured guests, leaders, and visionaries in both business and spiritual callings. So join Eve Thursdays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com as she takes metaphysics mainstream. For more information about Eve, visit EliteTarot.com. That's EliteTarot.com. Do you know how to achieve wellness in all areas of your life? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Signs of wellness are a capacity to love and ability to nurture, a sense of purpose, a good sense of humor and plenty of fun in your life, a concern for others and a respect for the environment, a conscious commitment to personal excellence, a sense of balance and integrated lifestyle, and capacity to cope with whatever life presents. Well, people enjoy their lives and want them to last as long as possible. That's why the wellness mindset usually accompanies 
company's other constructive, healthy lifestyle habits. By adopting a wellness mindset and behaviors like eating well, taking the right nutrition for the body, exercising, and saying affirmations are just a few things to structure a healthy system of values and beliefs. Call us at 888-777-4232. That's 888-777-4232. And visit us at maryjanemack.com. Well, everyone, welcome back. David Karsher is here with us today. Guess what? We're all going to experience something super cool. David, take it away. Thank you, Pat. So the first thing I'd like to do is read a poem from my book that is about taking action. And it's about what motivates us in, in action. And in a way, the, the poem is very personal to me, but I trust that you can relate to it too and feel its relevance in your own life. Uh, so, so with that, I'll just read it to, to you. I entitled it, My Love is Long. My love is long, like this path in front of me with blind turns around sandstone bluffs and endless switchbacks that climb to unknown places. And like a young man who would walk such a mountain path, enjoying the sweat dripping down his torso, thirsting for a gaze from the yet distant peak. Oh yes, my love is long and it would climb that way today, tomorrow, and for so many tomorrows to come until this earthly frame could walk no more and the spirit of my love walks on alone like like a scarcely noticed rustling wind, a shimmering and a flickering that could do naught else but continue until I reach the end and aim of all my climbing, until I know my hunger is complete at least for now, that I have loved you with every hidden part, all given, all consumed in living flame, until love alone continues, informing all its wondrous shapes and colors with itself, dancing and laughing free in total joy and unquenchable celebration before you. So my love is long, and I know your love is long, too. And I want to invite you in these moments, if you have the opportunity and you're not driving or doing something else you need to pay attention to, to close your eyes and just feel the love that's inside you and consider the things that you love, the people that you love, the places the projects. Think of this good green earth, the only planet we have. It's so worthy of our love. So think what fires you up in love, what stirs your heart. And think about what you are in service to. In other words, What is it that you love so much that it's worth doing something for? It's worth being in service to, to allow it to thrive, to allow it to be healthy, to allow it to be protected, to allow it to manifest. And then feel who you are as a servant of that highest of loves that you have with inside yourself. And then think of one simple thing, one simple action that you could take sometime in this next day that you could imbue fully with that love, love 
in service to what means so much to you and commit yourself to that simple action and to filling that simple action with your full heart and then continuing your life from there. Continuing to fill every action that you take in service to what you're, you love with that quality of service, that full heart. Wish you well. I'll be following that same practice myself. Mm. David, how peaceful. And you know what I'm really struck by? I'm really struck by um, how little time that took for all of us to get to that place of stillness so that clarity and understanding can emerge. Isn't that what we started talking about at the beginning? You know, to make sure that understanding, you know, does lead to clarity. Yes. Mm. You you know, I I talk to people who struggle with meditation Mm. and they struggle to find stillness and Really, the principle of stillness is so easy if you understand that what is inside you is already still at your deepest levels. Mm -hmm. And when you express that through yourself, even in action, you could be very active and yet very still because Mm -hmm. you are bringing your stillness into that action. And it's filling your heart. It's filling your body. Even though you're vibrating, you're still anchored in stillness. So uh, anyway, I think that's an important element of understanding. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't know that, we don't understand that we can bring our spirituality into our day-to-day life and make it real. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I want to just in these closing minutes, I I do want to get back to earlier in the show when we talked about the four aspects of humanity. And it talked about how each of those can be activated and brought to the forefront and and what results in that. I mean, there is a direct correlation, isn't there, between the action we take, the things we think, um, the words we speak, the degree by which we actually believe in the idea of spirituality as well as how we decide, you know, to activate the mental and the physical parts of our lives. And I wanted to ask you in these minutes uh, that we have left, how will they help guide us to right action? Well, yes. So if we think of it this way, putting it in very simple terms, Mm -hmm. That the spiritual is about possibility, potential. Mm -hmm. That's really important in taking an action because if you're in touch with potential, then your action is manifesting that potential. Mm -hmm. Then then if the, the emotional body is about the depth of love that's in all our hearts, then that's relevant because when that love is activated, it can fill the action and motivate the action, and power us in the action. And then our mind is meant to be in touch with the spiritual, so to be receiving intelligence and wisdom from the universe, opened up to the possibility that the pattern of creation could actually manifest in perceiving that pattern. And then our actions can be guided by that intelligence. And then it's all coming together for us. And not only are we doing something that's effective and practical, but we're acting in a way that is bringing a spiritual power into our lives, into our worlds, and to other people. Mm -hmm. Mm. What a great conversation. David, please give out your information again. And thank you so much for all that you do. Yes, certainly, Pat. It's uh, davidcarshare.com slash blessing. 
to receive the seven spiritual strategies for fulfilling relationships. It's awesome. a free ebook. Mm. Amazing. And for those of you out there, make sure you connect with David as well and take a look at the many, many ways that you can activate and create amazing bursts of action. Thank you all for tuning us in, turning us on for more about me. And if you've missed any part of this, TransformationTalkRadio.com and The Dr. Pat Show. We'll see you next time. You've been listening to Becoming a Sun Radio, emotional and spiritual intelligence for a happy, fulfilling life with David Carshare. Tune in monthly on the Dr. Pat Show Network for this life-changing show. David brings the knowledge about primal and embodied spirituality to the forefront. You can learn more about David and his spirituality programs at davidcarshare.com. That's David, K-A-R-C-H-E-R-E.com. See you there. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.